there in the first place anyway. So he's a few minutes behind. Silence your ringers. I don't want anybody bothering us. There's a commercial. The dog sounds like it's being like choked to death. All right, I'm gonna skip this. Up. There we go. All right, it's a nice, nice, tight, tight shot. Nice. Nice tight shirt. Looks good. Looks good. All right, are we ready, everybody? All right, here we go. Oh, who keeps moving this? Ah. All right, hello, everybody. Hello, everybody. I want to say hello to the people on the white, the white tea, the white tea, everybody who's watching, everybody on the FB, on the FB, and the tickety talk on the tickety talk. I'm very, very excited to be back for our 10th. This is our 10th press conference. We've got a lot of the fake news here. Make noise, everybody. We have all the reporters here. We have all the reporters here from all over the world. Great people, tremendous people. You know, there's some fake news. I have to admit, the fake news is always going to get in here. But that's OK. This guy especially, this guy right here. But we've got real news. We've got the fake news, because I have to have them. But we've had a heck of a week. Before I get started, before I get started, I just want to thank my members, my members, my great, tremendous, fantastic members that we have on my channel on YT, on YT. I want to thank all the people on the Tickety Talk, my 6 million people there, my 100,003 people on YT, my, what, 40? 8,000 now on, on the FB. So we got wonderful, wonderful people. We got great questions. And I think, was it Lisa Mitchell? Was it Lisa Mitchell who uh, already said some moolah? Was it Lisa? Uh, Lisa Mitchell, she sent 199. Lisa, you are the best. I love your comments on all the videos, all the lives, and I love the money. I don't need it. I'm rich. I'm really, really rich. But I love when you send the money. I really appreciate that. And I have to make sure that I mention we're having some tech Technical difficulties. So if you can hear me, let me know. But unfortunately, the press, the press, terrible people, the press, they are not microphone. Cast down in front, uh, my aide. I do that Richard Alexander also sent you some before you started today. Oh, you $2 in. Oh, Canadian money. I love Canada. It's like another country up there. It's amazing. It's incredible. And, and we love the Canadian people. They're great people. I mean, honestly, what are Canadian people? They're just unarmed Americans with crappy health care and a better attitude. Oh, That's wow. why we love them. Thank you. We have a, do we have two yeah, Canadian? Uh, we, this is the yeah. Canadian. We have Canadian reporters here today. Canadian report. But I love them. They're, they, they, they're dressed in maple syrup. I, I love that about them. They're wonderful people. So we're going to get started with the questions. But just when they ask the questions, I'm going to repeat them. I'm going to repeat them so all of you hear the questions. All right, let's get started. What do we What do we have? Right over here, down in front. Uh, real quick, uh, donation. Uh, Boyd, Henrietta Void. Boyd. Oh, Boyd. Henrietta Boyd sent me some money. Thank you, because after this week in court, uh, it's going to cost me a lot of money fighting Judge Angeron. Angeron, he's very angry. He's very, very angry, and he fined me. He fined me $15,000. Could you believe this? Can you believe this guy? Because all I said was, you're out of order. You're out of order. And he fined me. It's, it's very sad. He obviously didn't see the movie with the great Al Pacinko. Al Pacinko. He didn't see that film. It's sad. It's really sad. Now, we have a question. We have a question on Facebook from Steve Hatz. Steve Hatz? Thanks sir, for the super sir, chat. Sir, sir. Do sir, you sir, like sir. London when you visit? Do I like London? Oh, I love London. The question was, do I love London when I visit? I'm practically like a British expert, but the one wonderful thing I can say about London is it's such a great little town. It's wonderful. They have Buckingham Palace. They've got the uh, the bridge. They have British people. Everyone talks with a great accent. They stole our language, but that's okay. I love the British people, but they do need to change their name because there's like 10 names for England. There's the UK. There's Britain. There's Britannia. There's jolly old England. They 
have to come, they got to make a decision and come up with one name. I mean, just from a marketing standpoint for tourism, for tourism. We have one from the Tickety Talk over here, the uh, Tickety Talk yes, people. Big Red 598. Big Red 598. What's the question? Big Red 598 would like me to hug the flag. Oh, I love, you know what? I usually do that every time we start. I think everybody knows how much I love the flag. Oh, that's a nice flag. That's a nice, very attractive flag. But I have to, if I'm, if I'm hugging this one, I have to hug this one. This is a gorgeous flag. This flag is a great, this flag is a great shape, you know? This, this, it's my type. These flags are my type, if you know what I mean. If you know what I mean. So that's fantastic. That's great. Oh, there we go. I just, I love, I, I just love the very, very attractive flag. This is the greatest flag in the history of flags. There's other flags, but these flags are the best flags. Over here. Yeah, this is from Crystal. Uh, Crystal. On the tickety talk. Yeah. Uh, use something on your lips when you kiss the flag. Do I use something on my lips? I use freedom. I use freedom when I kiss the flag. Kiss the flag. Mm, just like that. But I don't want to state it. I don't want to state it. It's a very attractive flag, though. It's true. Back in the back. This gentleman in the back. A new reporter. A new reporter. Yeah, yeah. This one's from Abby. Abby One here. Are you looking Abby forward one. to going to prison? And what's your favorite food to eat? Well, Abby One, his question is, do I look forward to going to prison? No, I do not look forward to going to prison. You know why? Because I'm not going. I'm not going to prison. But if I did, if I did, I would be a model prisoner and I would probably end up, who did I, what did I lose? Oh, I, I would end up probably running the prison. I'd probably end up running the prison because I'm a tremendous, tremendous leader. And I have to tell you, I truly think that the food in prisons have to be changed. I've heard a lot about it. And I think we're going to go to the, we're just going to order out. We're going to use Uber Eats. And we're going to have McDonald's, Kentucky Fried Chicken, uh, Wendy's. I love the Frosties. I love the Frosties. I love regular, I love I love vanilla ice cream after dinner, but a chocolate frosty is truly, truly delicious. Go ahead. This is from Bodine. 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 I like that name. Sure. Go ahead, Bodine. How much am I worth? You know, this is a fantastic question because uh, a lot of a lot of billionaires, I, I would say you could value me around 25, 35, 50 billion dollars. It changes. It changes all the time. This is what I'm trying to explain to Judge Angerod. Anger it goes up and it goes down and it goes up. But today it's up because I, why? Because I feel fantastic. I feel absolutely fantastic. And that is why the numbers, are, let's say 50 billion. I'm worth $50 billion. And we check with me at the end of the press conference. It could be higher, it could be lower. We don't know. We don't know. Go ahead. I, follow on our, follow on the Forbes. I know what the question is. I am not on the Forbes list. I was kicked off. It's all political because I'm currently dealing with these rigged, rigged cases. What, nine different cases? Actually, six different cases. It's sad. Over here, the young lady down in front from, uh, from the newspaper. Uh, yeah, a Thanks for the super chat. Oh, this is Cass, my assistant. Go ahead, Cass. Um, one from Relax Bad Knee Adventurer. He's been here a few times. Wait, before. what? what's the name again? Relax? Relax. Bad Knee Adventurer. Re relax, Bad Thanks Knee Adventurer. Sent me some money. How much? Yep. Two forty nine from the two forty nine from the Netherlands. That's right. We know the Nether. We love the Netherlandian people. They're great people. They all live in a shoe and they love their windmills and their tulips. But they're great people. They have wooden shoes. They live in a shoe and they wear wooden shoes can, in the back. Can you run for president of the Netherlands? I can run for the president anywhere, and I've been saying this for a while. Any place where they speak English, English, which is the greatest language ever, I should be able to run. So I should be the president in Canada. I should be the president in in Australia. I should be the president in England. And I should be the president in, in the Netherlands. In the Netherlands. Very well-dressed people, I might add. Tall and skinny. They invented the skinny suit. No one talks about that. No one talks about that. Over here on the tickety talk. Yeah, this is uh, from Hearts. Hearts. For Lily. Hearts for Lily. Hearts for Lily. That's a good How one for me. Lily. Donald Fish. How do I feel about a McDonald's fish sandwich? Well, listen, I'm not a fish guy particularly, but I have some friends who are Catholic, and they love going to McDonald's on Fridays during Lent, during Lent. And, uh, you know, they'll go there and get the fish sandwich. I hear it's very delicious. I've had it once or twice. They really deep fry it. And the way they make it good is they deep fry the filet fish in the uh, French fry, the French fry grease, which is the greatest grease. I don't care what anyone says. McDonald's has the best French fries. Other 
that my Trump golf courses around the world, you can go buy uh, Mar-a-Lago, great French fries, tremendous French fries, not as skinny, they're not the shoestring, but they're very good. They call that the Texas wedge, the Texas wedge over here. Mitchell. Wow. Lisa, oh, Lisa, you know, Lisa, you're so wonderful. Please come to Mar-a-Lago. I'd like, I'd like to, you know, have you for dinner or something. I'm sure you and Melania would really hit it off. And I'm hoping Melania is going to show up. Is Melania, has anyone seen Melania? Nobody is, not, nobody? Nobody? Okay. Melania is not here. She was supposed to be with me in court. Didn't show up. She's supposed to be with me here. Didn't show up, but she's very busy. She's very busy. That's okay. That's okay. She's a very busy person. In the back. In the back. This gentleman from Canada. Rumor has it that uh, Melania is in Kenya right now. And Chris Harry wants to know when are you going to visit Melania in Kenya? Melania is in Kenya. I didn't know about that. Uh, are there like Kate Spade bags there or Coach bags? Is that where they make the fake bags? Shopping. She is shopping. It's uh, It's been alleged that Melania is in Kenya right now. I have no idea what she's doing, but you know, she's a wonderful person. She speaks five different languages. English is not one of them, unfortunately, <laughs> but I'm sure she's having a wonderful time in Kenya. In Kenya, I hear the shopping is very good. We have another question? Yeah, I do you want to get Lisa's question out there real quick? Yes, Lisa, please. Um, she said, good morning, Mr. President. And Chip, who unfortunately isn't here right now. Oh, and oh, is it true when you and Melania have game night, Melania cheats? Uh, it is true. Melania cheats. She, Melania does not have the patience I have. I have incredible patience. But when we play Uno, she cheats. When we play Scrabble, she cheats. When we play Parcheesi. Parcheesi, I love the game because it makes me hungry. Parcheesi, she cheats on that one too. But uh, she doesn't like cards against humanity. She gets very upset when we play that, but I think it's hilarious. All right, do we have one coming in over here? Oh, no, I just wanted to let you know we have 6.6 people watching. 66,000 people on the tickety talk. Is that what you said? 66,000? 66,000. How many people do we have on the YouTube, Cash? How many people on the uh, YouTube? Right now, you're about at 140. 1. 1.4 million people right now watching on the uh, on the YT on the YT. How about on the Facebook? How about on the Facebook? Um, on the, I actually cannot. Okay, you can't see it. That's okay. That's okay. It's very, very active. We're we're very happy. Everyone's here. I just want to make a quick statement about the flipping. The flipping. I don't know Sydney Powell. I don't know Jenna Ellis. I don't know this other guy, Ken Chesbro. Ken Chesbro. I don't know this guy. I don't know these people. But yet they're flipping. They're flipping. And then now I find out that uh, Mark Meadows is flipping. I don't believe this because I don't know any of these people. Sure, Mark Meadows was my chief, chief of staff, but he mainly got coffee. He mainly got coffee. He didn't make any real decisions. And and Michael, Michael Cohen, who was in court this week, listen, only thing Michael Cohen did was he was my executive vice president for 11 years. I barely saw the guy. He says he did all these things. I don't remember. I don't remember. So please don't trust any of these people. Next question. Chubby. 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 Chubby wants to know why all of your lawyers mm -hmm. are flipping it. Lies, all lies, that they're not all of my lawyers. I have many, many, many lawyers. This is just a small percentage, maybe 25%, 30%. You know what I mean? And I, some of these I paid, so, but I don't know them. But I don't know them. And uh, we're starting with the, uh, the landscapers are here, once again at Mar-a-Lago, because it's every other Friday. And this is the every other Friday. So these guys are here right now. Uh, so the dogs are going to start. Bark These are the security dogs that the Secret Service has. But they're going to start barking. It's going to get very loud. But don't worry. Don't worry. It's going to be fine. We have a question down in front from the tickety top of the nice young lady. Yes. Maddie wants to know, do you love your kids? I love all of my kids. Um, there's the tall one. Uh, Baron is very handsome. He's doing very, very well. That's, Mel that's the child I had with Melania. Of course, there's Ivanka who I absolutely adore. I'm in the friend zone with her right now, but don't worry, it's gonna come back around. Uh, of course, there's uh, Don Jr., who's named after me, Don Jr. And then there's uh, his brother, 
his brother, his name escapes me right now, my other son. And then uh, somebody told me I have another daughter with Marla Maples named Tiffany. Tiffany, I like the name. I couldn't, I couldn't pick her out of a police lineup. But uh, supposedly she's my daughter and she's somewhere here at Mar-a-Lago. So don't worry about that, folks. I love, love, love my children. Did I miss anybody? Did I miss anybody? Nobody? Okay, I didn't miss anybody. Okay, I covered all the kids. I covered all the kids. It's great. All right, we've got the security dogs. If you hear dogs barking, it's security. Um, we have Jose and Jose B out here doing the yard work. Uh, I love the Mexican people. Great people, fantastic people. But these people are, are legal. They're legal. They're here legally. All right, down in front. Us are spelled the same. Yes. Any other discoveries? Can you believe this? Can you believe this? Us and U.S. are the exact same word. I discovered that this week. No one, no one talks about this. No one talks about this. This is absolutely incredible. Because when you think of the U.S., you think of us. And now the word us is U.S. And they had never done that before. Never, no one's ever put this together. Uncle Sam... Uncle Sam didn't put this together. Barack Obama, you know, Barack Hussein Obama, he never mentioned this. You know, Sleepy Joe, oh, come on, man. Oh, uh, Shesh Barilla, malarkey. Oh, why is it so loud all of a sudden? Oh, there's like a, there's like a helicopter over here. He never mentioned that. Uh, just so you know, they're right here outside the, uh, the press room. The press room. We have a question here. Detroit Dis. Detroit, really in Detroit, really in Detroit. Detroit I love the people of Detroit. I'm with. I was there with the union workers. I was there with the union workers. I wasn't at a union facility, but I was there with the union workers. Detroit Dis wants to know: Do you sleep with a Mr. Pillow at night? And if so, how does it feel? Well, you know what, Mike, Mike Pillow, the great, great Mike Pillow, or as I call uh, Mike Pillow. We're gonna wait for them just to saw through the door here in a second. It's like a heist. It's like a heist here right now. They're just coming through the door. But they do great work. Uh, if you come to Mar-a-Lago, the landscaping is incredible. And you know who's been here? Mike Lindell, the great Mike Lindell. They're running Mike out of business just because he uh, said some things about, I'm not gonna say the companies. I don't wanna get in trouble myself. But he said some things about some companies uh, maybe he should have said that. Maybe he shouldn't say whatever. But now he's in a lot of trouble. But concerning the pillows, concerning the pillows, great pillows, fantastic pillows, very comfortable pillows. And I do sleep with one. He had one made specifically for me. But I don't sleep a lot, folks. I do not sleep a lot. I do not sleep a lot because I'm working for you. I'm working for you. And, of course, I'm working on all my cases, all my cases against these terrible, terrible people. Judge Angeron. Judge Angeron, and then Letitia James, Letitia James, and we have Fanny, we have Fanny Willis, Fanny Willis in Georgia. But don't worry, it's all going to be taken care of, and I'm going to be back in office very, very soon. It's going to be tremendous, and don't worry, I'm not going to jail. Don't ask these questions about how do you think I'll look in an orange jumpsuit. I'll look fantastic, to tell you the truth. I hear they're very slimming. They're very slimming, but nothing's more slimming than my beautiful blue suit and red tie. Red tie. So do we have a question? I need to come over here in the tickety tap. Yeah. Dirty 4749. Dirty 49. I'm not good with numbers. Woman, camera, TV, person. Go ahead. Okay, I'm not going to repeat that. I'm not going to repeat that. I'll never remember okay, that. 47, 49. But I did pass the test. I passed the test, and I'm still a stable genius. Go ahead. What's the question? What do you think about the University of Michigan scandal? What do I think about the University of Michigan scandal? By the way, I went to the University of Pennsylvania, graduated first in my class, and now they're naming buildings after me. Isn't that incredible? And did you know that Benjamin Franklin, Benjamin Franklin, he started the University of Pennsylvania. No one talks about that. No one talks about that. Or the building they named after me. Uh, but what happened? I don't know about the scandals. Anyone know? Any of the reporters know about the University of Michigan? Anybody? This is the most uninformed group of reporters I've ever come across. Bunch, bunch of nitwits. Bunch of nitwits. Well, we're going to have to look it up and cover it on the next press conference. No one wants to know, is Kennedy coming back? Is Kennedy coming back? And I think, 
I don't think he's coming back. I, I've seen the I've seen the movie, the Zapruder film. It was very painful. But Robert Kennedy is running, and everyone thought this guy was a Democrat, and now he's running as an independent. Don't worry, I will make I will slice and dice that guy. He'll be out in no time. You know who he's married to? Cheryl Hines, who played the wife on Bing Bong on uh, Larry David, Curb Your Enthusiasm. So that's his wife. Right. She must be doing something right, but I can't stand the voice the way I don't like it. I don't like it, and you don't like it either, but you don't want to admit you don't like it because you don't want to be mean. It's okay to be mean. It's okay to be mean. Do we have a question over here? Anybody? Gutierrez Taco Bell. Well, they now have breakfast. Taco Bell now has breakfast. This is not a promotional thing. I just found out uh, Pete Davidson, who I, I don't understand how this guy has a career. I mean, honestly, but he's promoting breakfast at Taco Bell. I honestly thought Taco Bell had breakfast too, but now they have breakfast. They deep fry a burrito. Uh, I've never been a big fan of, of their food because the best Taco Bowls are where? Trump Tower. And if it's not a Trump hotel, it's a dump hotel. I always say that. I always say that. We have something over here. Yes, sir. Keep in mind the people on TikTok about you. Oh, that's right. If you're watching on the tickety talk today we want to get, what, 10? We want to get, because it's our 10th anniversary. We want to get 50 of the cowboy hats. And if we get 50 of the cowboy hats, I will do YMCA, which I've done at other press conferences. So it'll be... Y M C A. Da, 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 da. Well, I'm not gonna do the whole thing. That's that's at the end, and all the press corps, the press, they will sing along with me. But until then, that's not gonna happen. But we need my hats, and every time they give me a hat, I'm gonna go. Pachir, 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 pachir. And if we could just wait for one second, hold on. Is that open? Is that open? Is the sliding? Is that open? Those are the security dogs. Is the sliding glass door open? Do you want to close it so it's not all blown in? Can you close that for us, please? Secu yeah. Get, what, one of my Secret Service guys is going to be taking care of. We're having an issue right now. This is what I get from working from home at Mar a Lago from my $2 billion property. Not as secure as you think. Oh, we got a hat. I love the hat, folks. They can only see it on, on the tickety top. But I was wearing a cowboy hat for a second. Another one, too. Getting all mavericky up in here. All right, let's go over to a question. Thank you, tickety talk. Over here, what do we got? Yes, I actually do know about the Ohio wrestling scandal. That was the great... Jim Jordan, who never wears a sports coat, but we don't have to worry about that because it's over. It was ancient history. It was ancient history. And, and what do you expect when two men are wrestling with each other? I mean, I got to be honest, folks. You know what I mean? If you know what I'm saying, it's true. But now we have the great uh, Mike. Who, who's the new guy? Mike, not Wilson. Mike Johnson. We have the great Michael Johnson is now the Speaker of the House. And everything's going to be absolutely fantastic because he and I think very much, I mean, he's not a stable genius like me, but he and I think very much on the same line. Over here. Did you want Jim Johnson to be the Speaker or did you? Jim Jordan? Well, I just, if you follow me on Truth Social, Truth Social, I said, I don't want to endorse anybody. I don't want to endorse anybody, but I want to support everybody. But I really want to support Michael Johnson. Michael Johnson. It's Michael Jordan, but Michael Johnson. So if you know what I'm talking about. And I think we all know Michael Johnson in our lives, and I think that's incredible. So we basically already know him over here down in front. A couple more donations. Oh, we went. Legal funds. Thank you. We need it, folks. These attorneys are very expensive, especially the ones I pay. Okay, go ahead. Bill Eatson sent 250. Thank you, Bill, for the 250. And Appreciate that. Chris said you were guilty. Your reaction? Oh, Chris, Chris. Listen, I am so sick of Chris Christie. The man's the Hindenburg. He's the Zeppelin of, uh, uh, of presidential candidates. You know what I mean? Like, you know, look at me. I'm in tremendous shape. Chris Christie's a shape, too. It's a weeble. 
It's a weeble. This guy should not be running for president. Running, waddling. He's waddling for president. I mean, his spleen is made out of salami. It's unbelievable. His A1C is WTF. I mean, this guy could not be president. Listen, if you can't control your body, then how can you control this incredible country? This incredible country. That's all I have to say about the man who has more chins than a Chinese phone book. Go ahead. Lisa Mitchell sent $5. Lisa Mitchell, thank Lisa, you're the best. We really have to get together. And she said, Mr. President, you may be the most indicted president, but you are also the most cancer president. Tremendously. Thanks for the super You see that? They can't get me on looks. They can't get me on looks. Women love me. Women like, and by the way, not just American women, but women all over the world love me because I'm very, very handsome. How many, how many 77-year-old men are women dying to be with? Just me. Just me. It's incredible. It's true. Playmates, porn stars, go ahead. Over here. This guy. Jimmy G10. Jimmy G10. Jimmy G10. Didn't you say in the last election, lost to Biden, you would move to Canada? I did say that. I did say that. But you can't believe anything I say. So that's the good part. Just, you just don't believe it. Just don't believe it. Especially about moving. It's very expensive to move. I Thanks might, uh, for the super Over chat. here. This yeah. gentleman. Yeah, this one's from Joanne. Uh, she wants to know who would be your chosen cellmate when you go to prison. Well, you know, this has come up a number of times in the other. Uh, Joanne, the, the question the is, folks, chat. who would be my chosen cellmate? So at one point I thought maybe Rudy because he's a lap dog. You know, I, hey, Martha, how you doing? But then I thought he would probably drive me crazy. And then I thought, well, we, we need someone to protect me, so maybe a big guy. A big guy. Uh, and then I finally thought maybe Carrie Lake. I think if it's a unisex prison, I think Carrie Lake would be fun because she could help me out and also like cook and clean and vacuum and do some wonderful things for me like that. I don't want to be with Milana, but you know, Melania, because she doesn't deserve that. Right over here. They're doing great work here, folks. They're doing great work here. And uh, when you come to Mar-a-Lago, by the way, by the way, uh, initiation at Mar-a-Lago is $250,000. But today, today, I'm knocking off $25 if you want to join Mar-a-Lago. Uh, there's a $50,000 monthly food fee, too. Go ahead. Uh, Ruby Flores sent you $5. We love Ruby Flores. She's here legally. That's why we love Ruby Flores. She's and great. You know, other people, this is on, this is so folks know what I'm talking about. Ruby Flores is on Thanks YT, the super chat. and she'll comment, and people comment about Ruby. Ruby's like a celebrity in the comments on my videos on uh, YT. It's amazing. She's famous. That it's famous is me, that she's very, very Thanks famous. So, Ruby, chat. thank you for being here. You're the best. Uh, Ruby's question is, sir, sir, sir. Sir, sir, sir. Now that Sydney Powell flipped on you, what nickname will you be giving her? Oh, that's a great question. What nickname will I be giving Sydney Powell now that she's flipped? That's a great question. Maybe flipping Sydney's too easy. How about Sydney Pancake Powell? Sydney Pancake Powell. What do you think of that? Because pancakes flip. Pancakes flip. So Sydney Pancake Powell. Thank you for that one, Ruby. That was a good question. I'll have to come up for Ken Cheesebro. Ken Cheesebro. I'll have to come up with a good flipping name. And Jenna Ellis, she flipped too. And if Ruby, uh, if uh, Rudy flips on Monday or Tuesday, I am not going to be happy. So Rudy, if you're watching, they call this witness intimidation. Rudy, do not flip. Call me first. I mean, I don't have any money for you, but don't flip, okay? All right, next question. Got a donation from Amal. 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 For $3.99. Amal, thank you for the $3.99. Every penny counts when you're in court seven days a week. Another donation from Listener, I believe, is a member for $10. Oh, Listener. Oh, I think Listener is a member. Yeah. Thank you so much, Listener. I really appreciate that. We have so many legal fees. We're fighting the, the fake American justice system. When I become president, we're going to get rid of all the judges, except the, you know, my judges. Uh, we're going to get rid of uh, all the people who, who say nasty things about me. We're going to lock them up. We're going to lock them up. It'll be tremendous. It'll be a much better country. And now that we have uh, Michael Johnson, who's going to be the speaker, you know, he's third in line to be president. And he, he wrote the brief. 
to overthrow the election. I think that's really wonderful. He's a smart, smart guy. And he looks like Matthew Broderick with glasses on. And I think that's a good look. Because Jim Jordan, his hair is falling out. His skin is not so great. He never wears a jacket, which is sad. It's really, really sad. We have somebody over here. This is from Mad One. Mad One. Mad One. They're mad. They're mad I'm being incriminated and persecuted. Go ahead. Who would you This is another fantastic question. I think, you know, I don't think anybody could do the job that I could do. Uh, I would love to have Ivanka. I think she'd be fantastic. So it'd be a Trump, Trump ticket, which I would be, I think that would be great. But I don't think I need a vice president because you can't trust him. You can't trust him. Could I trust Mike Pence? I don't think so. I don't think, I asked him to do one thing, one thing, couldn't do it for me. So maybe I could be the vice president. You know, by the way, by the way, I just learned this this week, other than that U.S. is us, which no one talks about. I learned that in the old days, like George Washington, the person who came in second would be your vice president. I don't want Joe Biden, Sleepy Joe, as my VP, okay? Oh, come on, man. I'd be a great VP. I'd have the sarsaparilla and the malarkey and the little baby dinosaurs like when I was a kid. It's not going to happen, Joe. Can you believe that? That's who used to be the VP. I think for my cellmate and for VP, we're going to go with Carrie Lake. She's so dynamic. She's got, she's feisty. She's feisty. I don't usually like feisty women. Over here. I want to get listeners' question in real quick, but they're going to... Yes, listen to go ahead. Um, they ask, I'm sure you're Thanks for the super cough, chat. But if 18 of your co defendants in the Georgia trial testify against mm -hmm. you, what will your defense be? I don't know any of these people. I don't know any of these people. All these people do, 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 who Thanks are going, the some of these chat. people I actually don't know. Uh, the people who uh, opened the, the voting machines and then you did the bing bong, bong bing, and moved things around with the, uh, with the uh, software and all that. I don't know them. I don't know them, but if they all, uh, if they all, well, you know what? That case doesn't start until like October, so I'm probably going to win. I'm probably going to win. And then I'll throw all those people in jail, which we're going to end up anyway. It's true. And by the way, I, when I want my peps, uh, when I want my Diet Coke, I have this. This is the red button. We had it moved here. So I had it put right there. And look, look at Pop's stuff. It just comes right up through the desk. It's my little, look at, look at my hands. I have enormous hands, folks. Gigantic. And by the way, these are billionaire hands. And you know what they say? You know what they say? Big hands, right? Big gloves. So we, we have that. So, and, and what was the last question? Was that last question from listener? What was the question from um, listener? If 18 of your co-defendants... Oh, 18 of my co-defendants. Don't worry. We, we, well, we, the defense is I'm innocent. The defense is I'm innocent. People have been working against me since I became became the president. It's true. It's true. I'm a nice guy. I'm a very nice guy. In the back, Mr. Canada, the Canadian News, the CBC, the uh, CBC. Uh, our sisters in, in Britain, Bob X, mm. donated five euros. Oh, wow. Thank you, Bob. You're, yeah. Five euros is like $25 here. He says, sir, sir, I'm British. Love Please the Brits. Tell us what we should rebrand the UK to. Could you use the opinion of a stable genius? Thank oh, you, sir. Thank you. So, he, so, they, so a very smart British person wants to know how should, as a marketing expert, how they should rebrand England. England. I think England is just kind of an old name. When you think of England, you think of like William Shakespeare and Tudor houses. It's very up to date there. They're very smart. And we're going to come up with a brand new name for England right here. We're going to call it Platinum. Platinum. That's the name of the country. Platinum. That's the new name. Don't call it Britannia. Don't call it jolly old England. Don't call it the UK. Just call it platinum. And when people go, oh, platinum, they're going to know it's Scotland, it's Wales, it's England. I think I'm missing something. But it's those three or maybe a fourth one because Ireland is not a part of England. But physically, geographically, it is. Did you know that? I just learned that this week. And that's why they were fighting. They were fighting about that because their God and the other God are not the same God. And that's why they had all that stuff. But now, did you notice under me? No fighting. Thanks for the super No chat. fighting. And that's what's going to happen. There won't be any fighting. We're going to come over here and then over here. Right here. Um, Falco sent their first super chat on the live stream. Falco! We love Falco! We have a song. 
Do we have Falco is a member. Uh, for those of you on the tickety talk, Falco is a member. Falco also sent some money, and Falco wrote a song that we have to record, by the way. Yeah. We have to record. Falco, thank you for the song. It's a rap song. Rap songs are very popular. This rap thing is taken off. Go ahead. Falco asked, what about Ivanka as a singer? Well, I would like that. I think that would be absolutely incredible, but I don't think Jared and her children would be very happy about Ivanka being my cellmate. Thanks for the I'd super be chat. I have to tell you, I think it'd be absolutely incredible. We could have some father-daughter time, which we used to have when uh, I was, uh, we were younger, when she was younger and I was younger. There's photos of her on my lap and that would be nice. That would be nice. It'd be very, very nice. All right, do we, oh, we have something over here in the tickety talk. this yeah. guy, the gentleman. No, DC Dre, is this the real DC Drano? That's incredible. He wants to know when you're going to be back on Tucker. Back on Tucker. I'll probably be back on Tucker. Uh, well, I'm, I'm out touring around right now, but I'll probably be back on Tucker very, very soon. I love Tucker, except when he doesn't like me. But Tucker right now is kind of in limbo, limbo because of X, I because of X, which used to be Twitter. And so, But I, I did an interview with Tucker, and it was the most watched interview in the history of mankind, far more than Lincoln or you know, Kennedy or even myself. I beat myself. I beat myself. Isn't it incredible? So that's pretty amazing. But I'll be on Tucker very, very soon. Back over here. Yeah, this is uh, from Mick Jaguar with the Review Ooh, Journal. Oh, I like that name. Mick, Mick Jaguar. Jaguar. Mick, Journal. Mick Jaguar. He Go ahead. He wants to know if uh, you can help guide Mark Davis to improve his hairstyle. Oh, geez. You know, Mark Davis is a very, very smart guy. He's a great guy. Uh, I like Mark a lot. He's done wonders with the Raiders. He did a great deal putting Allegiant Stadium together in Las Vegas. And folks, if you don't know about Allegiant Stadium in Las Vegas, it looks like a giant Roomba. It just goes through the desert sucking up money. It's absolutely fantastic. But Mark Davis goes, he uses a floby. He uses a floby to cut his hair. Billionaire. That man's an absolute billionaire. He goes, I would like to send him to my hairstylist, and I think, I think that Mark Davis could have hair like this. He could. He's the same color, and he would look absolutely fantastic. Mark's a little white. I don't mean white as in white. I mean literally the color white. I think he needs a little orange, and he needs a nice suit like this and a Trump tie, and I think Mark would be absolutely incredible. Like I said, he's a smart guy. He's, he's I would say, a genius. Not like me. I'm like a stable genius. Go right ahead. Uh, Brendan sent you $5. Thank you, Brendan Beery. Sent me $5, which I appreciate, which is wonderful. And asked, now that the judge ordered you not to talk about his clerk, what do you think of the judge's clerk? Well, I think the judge's clerk is absolutely uh, partisan. She's dating, you know, uh, crying Chuck Schumer. She's dating, crying Chuck Schumer. She probably has Chuck Schumer's baby. Probably had Chuck, you know what I mean? And I'm going to say, click, 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 click. I'm going to say whatever I want. Charge me whatever you want. Because this whole thing is corrupt from top to bottom. Judge Angeron. Judge Anger on. He looks like he looks like Larry David with hair. He's very skinny with the big glasses. He thinks he's so smart because he's a superior judge. I could be a judge. I could be a judge. Judge Trump, wouldn't I look great in the black robe? I would be very good, but I wouldn't be a judge in New York City. I'd be a uh, Supreme Court. One of the Supremes. One of the Supremes. Go ahead, right over here. Uh, $5 in Canadian. Oh, Richard Alexander, $5 in Canadians. My Canadians, what's that yeah. convert to? What's that convert to? Nothing. Six, nothing? Okay, <laughs> it's nothing. It's actually the reverse of money. It's like crypto. It's gonna All right. Cost yeah, it's going to cost me. To do the exchange, it's going to cost me $5. Uh, Richard Alexander asks, sir, 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 which of the old unattractive presidents on Mount Rushmore are you having recarved into your likeness? Oh, well, I have to tell you, I'm a, I am love Teddy Roosevelt. He was a rough rider. I had no idea he was gay, but he was a rough rider. But he was very masculine, which I thought was great. We've got, um, we've got Lincoln. We've got um, uh, George Washington, who looks very good on Mount Rushmore. And who's the fourth guy? Who's the fourth guy on that? Anybody know? Trump. Trump. Well, that's right. And the, whoever the fourth guy is that I can't remember, who's obviously not worth remembering, He's going to be carved into Trump, and it's going to look incredible. And by the way, Mount Rushmore, 
A lot of people aren't going there anymore. They Thanks don't like the either woke. Chat. They don't like woke Lincoln and woke George Washington. But once I'm on there, tourism is going to go through the roof, through the roof at Mount Rushmore, or as I'll change it to my name, Thanks Mount for the Trump super chat. It's going to be incredible. Over here, we have a question. Uh, listener sent you another ten dollars. Another listener, thank you so much. We're going to have to have a group dinner with the people who can. My biggest contributors at Mar-a-Lago. Listener asked, what businesses will you be trying to start in prison? Well, you know what? I, I actually, you know, I, I've actually thought about this. I, I'm not going to prison, but if I did, I think license plates will be the new NFTs. I think license plates will be the new NFTs. There's only one of them. It's only linked to one person. So I think, um, I think I'm going to make a lot of money on license because I think they're undercharging for license all over the country. So if it's a federal prison or a state prison, I am going to have the newest NFT, Trump license plates. And you're, they're, they're really going to go through the roof. Believe me. Believe me. Next. It's from Byron. 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 What do you know about Christy Gomes? affair with one of your staff. Oh, oh, I've heard about this. So Christy Nome, allegedly, very attractive woman. Very attractive woman, I have to tell you. She's been um with um uh not Philip uh, what the heck Corey Lewandowski. Corey Lewandowski. She's allegedly having an affair with Corey Lewandowski. But I have to tell you, Corey Lewandowski gets a lot of women, so I don't know what's going on. You know what I'm talking about? Like Pete Davidson, like this guy has no signs of talent at all, but he's getting all these super hot women. So I can only think, because I'm a stable genius, that something's going on in another place, if you know what I'm saying. Because women always say, oh, no, no, I don't care about size. I don't care about, that's a bunch of crap. Let me tell you something, they care. They care, oh, no, 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 it's how they use it. That's a bunch of lies from women. Go ahead. This is from David Siegel. David Siegel. Will you choose George Clooney as your running mate? You know, George Clooney is a very handsome guy. I can't deny that. Uh, especially the, the one of my friends in New York who actually impersonates him, uh, David Siegel, who's asking this question. But the thing about George Clooney is he's very left-leaning. He's very He wants to socialize everything. <clears throat> you know, he's a big socialist. He's a big socialist, except with his tequila. His tequila, you have to buy his tequila. He's not giving you his tequila. So he's not a real socialist. He's kind of a waffling socialist. But I couldn't have George, because George had a uh, had a big argument with uh, Steve Wynn, because Steve Wynn started backing me. And uh, he, he walked out. George Clooney walked out the same way I walked out of, out of court. But he's very attractive. But I think his wife, you know, you know what I'm talking about. I'm not going to get in trouble, but George Clooney is a is a good guy, great actor, but he could not possibly be my VP because he's a left wing, radical, communist, Marxist, socialist, fascistic, fish stick. Go ahead. Uh, bacon Jacobson with the scarlet and gray at UNLV. Wow, that's a great bacon. I love bacon. Bacon's yeah. tremendous. Bacon's well, tremendous. Would you wrap me up? Would I wrap you up? You love bacon. Oh, I would wrap you up. I would wrap you up like a. You know, what is it? What are, what are they? What's the thing? They they wrap them up like not a date. Not a, what's the seafood they put around the bacon? Not shrimp. The seaweed. other one. What is it? Seaweed. Is that seaweed? What do they put when they wrap? Is it, what's the ones that's round and white? Looks like a little. What's uh, scallops? Scallops. Thank you. It's scallops. <laughs> At Mar-a-Lago, we wrap the scallops. We don't wrap the dates because I'm not eating a date. I I you know. I'm not constipated. I don't have to eat a date. So. Would you take Pete Davidson as your vice president because he brings all the attractive women? You know what? He brings, uh, what do they say? That brings the milkshakes to the yard or something, or his milkshake brings all the girls to the yard. I think we'd have to, I would, is he conservative? At least of Staten Island, he must be conservative. Him. If I pay him enough. Pete Davidson, you can be my, and he's my height too. Pete Davidson, you can be my VP. You're from Staten Island. Staten Island is red from top to bottom. Don't tell me you're a left-leaning liberal, but I'll make you my VP, and then we'll have a lot of hot chicks at the White House. It's going to be fantastic. It's true. Uh, he's dating. Who's he dating now? He's dating somebody really attractive. Oh, yeah. Melania. No, he's not dating Melania. Who is that? Security. Get that reporter out of here from Canada. Making a joke at my expense. There we go. Down in front. Uh, you 
question come in on Facebook from Michael Strecker. Michael Strecker. Michael Strecker. Michael Strecker. Who are you? Who am I? Well, I'm the greatest president in the history of presidents. And you can Google that. You can Google that. Everyone agrees we had the greatest economy under me. Uh, women were more attractive under me. Boobs were bigger under me. Men felt more confident under me. Men had more hair under me. But now everyone feels tired, exhausted. They have to have three and four jobs. It's terrible. People eating more ramen. I was in a supermarket. Well, not me. But I was in a supermarket, and a woman walked out with three cases of ramen. Three cases of ramen. That's sad. That's really, really sad. And we have, oh, who's calling me? Oh, it's not Melania. Okay. We'll just move on. What's the next question? This is uh, Ali D with Ali D Poker Show. Ali D. Ali D. Uh, what is your favorite poker hand? You what like is the poker? My favorite poker hand is a royal flush because I should have been royalty. I should have been royalty. Because, you know, when people, and that's what we're going to do. When I get back into office, I'm not leaving. I'm not leaving, folks. I'm not leaving. It's going to be, say it with me, president for life. Press, president, president for life. life. Say it again, president, president for, for life. life. I am going to be president for life. And everyone loves this idea, because I was talking about crying Chuck Schumer before. Even crying Chuck loves the idea of me being president for life. He called me the other day and he said, I hope you get life. Isn't that nice? He's, he's a nice guy. He's a nice guy, Chuck Schumer. But, you know, I'm again, we're on the other side. But we're going to make America great without him or anybody on the left. It's going to be a one-party system, folks. One-party system. Trump. That's what it's going to be. It's going to be amazing. All right, we have a question over here. From Alex here. Alex Piers. Alex Piers. Do you support Israel? I support. Listen, I've been waiting for this question. I've been waiting for this. We've missed the press conference for the last two weeks because I've been traveling around the country. I love, love, love Israel. Who was the one who moved the the embassy from Tel Aviv, Tel Aviv to Jerusalem? Me. Me, I love the Jewish people, great people, hardworking people, so smart with money, and the Jewish people love me. No one's done more for the Jewish people than me as president. In fact, all of the Jewish people here in the United States and around the world, they think my name, Donald J. Trump, is Donald Jewish Trump. It's not. It's genius. It's genius because I love the Jewish people. Let's go over here. Yeah, just a follow-on question. Right. <laughs> Mr. Jewish Trump. Do you support Netanyahu? I I like Bibi. I like Bibi, but Bibi, Bibi took credit for something that I did. I wasn't happy about that, Bibi. I wasn't happy about that, but I will help you because I know you're in a bind. You're surrounded by that good, not good people. But don't worry, we'll help out. I will definitely help out. We'll make that happen. I know Biden said over like $25. I would send a lot more over here. Um, another $10 donation from the listener. Wow, listener, you're killing it today. Thank you so much. Maybe we'll send listener, uh, how many, how many, how much is a listener uh, acquired today? Check, but it's been over 30. Over 30. You might have a, uh, you might have a little Trump talk coming your way. You never know. You never know. Uh, listener asks, I'm sure you're number one, but historians actually ranked you as the third worst president. How would you explain that? Oh, I'm at least the first worst president. I can't believe they got me as third. Who's ahead of me? Who's ahead? Of, even the worst is rigged. Even the worst is rigged. It's so sad. You can't even be, I can't even be first at worst. This just shows you how terrible the system is. And we're going to burn everything down and we're going to start from, from a fresh, from a fresh perspective a fresh, honest perspective of how incredible I really am. It's going to be fantastic. Over here. Um, and Richard Alexander sent you $5 in Connecticut. Oh, Richard, thank you so much. That five will cover the other five being converted to U.S. cash. So it's a it's a wash at this point, but that's okay. We appreciate that. Okay. Um, 
Sir, Mr. President, sir, will you be converting Mar-a-Lardo, converted into a VIP boutique for profit prison? Profit prison. Well, I have to tell you, uh, one of the things, okay, just so the people heard the question. They want to know if I will be converting Mar-a-Lardo, by the way, it's Mar-a-Lago, to a for-profit prison. Number one, all prisons should be for profit. Number two, if th this has been floated, I'm not going to, you know, we'll, we'll talk about it when the time comes. But they're talking about if I Thanks lose my case, which chat. I won't, they're talking about ha having me under house arrest. House arrest. So technically, Mar-a-Lago would be a prison for me. Guests can still come and go, but it'd be a prison for me. But the greatest prison in the history of prisons. So there is a possibility that I would be on home confinement at Mar-a-Lago, and it would become a prison. Uh, but I think we we currently, when you leave, we have a fantastic, we have an absolutely fantastic gift shop when you walk out through the exit. But we could add some new prison line of stuff, you know, get your own orange jumpsuit, you know, get one of those metal trays they have in prison, you know, a bar of soap that looks like a shiv. I think we have some great merchandise that we could have if it goes that direction. I don't think it will. I don't think it will. In the back, gentleman in the back. Yeah, this is uh, Mr. Darcy with Love Seats. Here. Mr. Darcy with Love Seats. Love Seats is a fantastic, it's a ticketing yeah. thing, right? It's a yeah. ticketing thing. And so Ticketmaster got in trouble again for claiming that they have no hidden fees. Right. And that's a lie, and now there's, again, pressure put on them. What are you going to do to them? Well, I think it's, you know, I think we had, uh, who was the guy? It was a Pearl Jam. We've had all of these bands testify against Ticketmaster. I don't like monopolies unless I'm running it. So I think ticket management, I think there should be options. I think there should be options when you buy a ticket. There shouldn't be any hidden fees and there shouldn't be your, you know, what do they call that? Uh, collusion, collusion. Remember the collusion, Russia, Russia, Russia. But when it comes to tickets, there shouldn't be any collusion. Certainly shouldn't be Russia. And you should be able to get the tickets you want and it should be transparent without all that other crap. So that's why I love love seats. I had a sticker. I had a sticker for love seats. That would be, I should hold that up. Go ahead. Um, Mr. Trump, we're almost at an hour. And you we almost had an hour? Out. Holy cow. We haven't even pulled out the Tony. Oh, we haven't pulled out the Tony. Hold on, hold on. Because, you know, people keep asking about, you know, people always say, like, how big are your hands? How big are your hands? And I just want to say, like, these are the tiny hands, right? These are the tiny hands. But I want you to look at the tiny hands versus my hands. Look at this. My hands hide the tiny hands. This is how big my hands are. It's absolutely incredible. See that big hands, right? Big gloves. So, you know, and by the way, no complaints down there. No complaints down there. So, and a lot of people say, you should do the tiny hands. You should do the, I don't have tiny hands, folks. I have big, you can see how big my hands are, all right? That'd be different, but everything on me is big. Everything is being on big where it counts. That counts. And that's right. Okay, hold on. What do we? Oh, that's right. We just want to remind everybody, the people that are watching on the Tickety Talk, we want to say thank you for watching on the Tickety Talk, the people who are watching on the YouTube, the YouTube. Uh, if you're watching on YouTube and you're not a subscriber, subscribe and hit the notification bell. We're on our way to 1 million subscribers. Currently, we have 103,000, but at some point, we're going to hit 1 million. And you can be part of that incredible thing. Also, become a member. You get very special perks. You get very special perks. We have some new stuff being made for our members. Uh, it's a big deal. They'll, they'll be telling, and I'll be doing special things, one-on-one -on -one things. And, of course, we have Facebook. You guys are always – it's free on Facebook, but with YouTube. And if you're watching on FB, make sure you – Follow me. We're close to 50,000 people on that. 103,000 here. 6 million on the Tickety Talk. You're, you make this possible by watching week after week. This is our 10th press conference with our wonderful press corps. Give yourselves a hand. We're going to be pulling up our presser people in, in, a, in a minute as we can, as we wrap up in the next five minutes. But as we do that, as we do that, let me know what you want to ask right now. But as we wrap up, let me know the questions. Do we have another question? Yeah. Uh, J.D. Art, who donated $5. Thank you, J.D. He says, my good friend, Vladimir Tupin, would like to Thanks know for the, super the chat. of the U.S. nukes. Mm, hold on. <laughs> Well, the codes, uh, Pootie already has the codes. 
Me and B Poots talk all the time. Every morning I call him, I go, what are you wearing Thanks for today? the super like, chat? What are you wearing today? And I'm like, I'm gonna wear the blue suit with the red tie and the white shirt. And he's like, I'm going to wear the gray suit with the gray tie and the gray shirt. And he always does, he's so great. I love Pootie, he's so smart. Did you know he was an assassin? He was an assassin? How exciting is that to get to kill people? I can't kill anybody. You know what I mean? He gets to kill journalists. I can't kill anybody in this room. It's so sad. Kim Jong-un gets to kill people. I don't get to kill anybody. Xi Jinping, whatever his name is. Who's the uh, guy in China? Uh, Kim Jong-un. No, Kim Jong-un's the other guy. You know, there's so much. I can't remember all of his names. Go ahead. I was just going to say, please. Please don't use the K word if you could say unalive. Yeah. Oh, okay. I can't say that. Okay. I can't say the, uh, unalive. yeah. Unalive. It, it, all these people make, you know, reporters unalive. I'd like to make some reporters unalive, but I can't, I can't say the right word. So it's not as impactful. Go ahead. Uh, listener donated another $10. Wow. Listener. Hold on. Hold on. I'm going to, I'm going to do this for listener. This is very special. We're going to come over here. Listener, you've been so good today. Don't know, so we're going to figure out how to get this to you. Go to my website, listener. Leave a, Go to Johnny, thejohnnydshow.com. Leave a message there. We'll contact you. We're going to send you one of these. And folks, if you haven't seen this before, this is the little me. This is the little me. I'll make Mexico pay for that one, too. So that goes up. And watch, watch. If you put it on like a flat service... Really, really incredible. Oh, no, one more, one more. I love hearing myself. This is my voice, by the way. Oh, that one was made in, in China. China. That was great. That was great. So this will be coming your way. We'll just go to the website, put in a message where you book me. Don't worry, you won't be booking me. Just leave me your information. We're going to get this to you because you've been so good today with these donations. It's incredible. It's, what, $40 now? Yeah, probably even. Even more than that. So we appreciate that. And you're a member. So this is this is something for you and that, that wonderful contribution you made. All right. Um, I want to get listeners' question out there. Oh, are you going to? Hold on. What are you gonna, oh, okay, great. Here, just take that. Thank you so much. My Secret Service agent, he's, he's a wonderful guy. He's a wonderful guy. How are we in time? Three minutes. Three minutes. Okay. A uh, listener asked, in prison, do you think you'll be paid by inmates to hide contraband in toilet pipes using your tiny hands? <laughs> They're really going after my tiny hands. Folks, these, I look at these. These are like sausages. These are like sausages. Don't believe the fake news when it comes to my tiny, tiny hands, which they are not. But I will have a system inside prison to move contraband more efficiently than ever. The same thing I did with the post office. The post office is even better. We, we slowed down mail pretty significantly with Divine. He's still in. Joe Biden can't get rid of him. He's the postmaster general, and he's not even in the military. It's incredible. Right over here. And Neil Burley on Facebook wants to know, will you be Chip's running mate? Will I be Chip's running mate? What is that? That's a, oh, Chip, our old reporter. We, need we, to bring him back. we have to bring him back. We got to maybe next week with uh, J.J. Snyder. J.J. Snyder. We have a two. We're going to have some big, big people. We got big people here this week. We're going to have some big, very well-known people. Uh, and if you're uh, watching in Las Vegas, um, you probably know who's going to be in Las Vegas tomorrow. This is from Marty M. from Anthem Hills. Marty M. from Anthem hmm. I think he was one of my, I think he was one of my advisors. Big orange party. Hmm. As a oh, that's right. I've heard about this. A big orange party is a tribute to me. The honor of attending is orange party. What is the date on that? Do we have a date on that? My social secretary's bobbing her head. Okay. All right. Yeah, I can definitely be there. We have another question right here. This is a question from Melania. Oh, Melania. Yeah. Hi, honey. She wants to know, what are you going to be dressing up as for Halloween? Well, that's a that's a great question. Uh, I think the most popular person in the world is me. So I'm just going to remain me. I'm going to remain me and probably just put on an extra shade of orange, an extra shade of orange, because that's what people like. People don't want me to cover my face because, A, we heard about how handsome I am and also how big 
how big I am. So it's a, it's a big day for me. It's a big day for you. This land is your land. Um, it's, it's, it's a wonderful place. And did you know that U.S. is us? It's absolutely fantastic. You guys have been great. Did we, did we hit the mark? Did we hit the mark? Oh, we have uh, 60 seconds. What do we have? 60 there's seconds. There's the UK. There's the UK. And then there's the US. There's the US. Right, so if you wanted to rename the UK, maybe you do USB as opposed to USA. Right. 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 Well, we get this name now. Now England and all the UK is just going to be platinum. So it'll just be P. It'll just be P or pl. It'll be pl. It'll be incredible. US plus. US plus. I like that. I like that. Yes. This is from Kansas City. Kings. Kansas City. Kansas, the heartland, the heartland, Kansas City. He wants to, what do you think of Pfizer, Kelsey? Pfizer, Kelsey. That's so funny. Um, yeah, because he was, well, number one, listen, the guy, he's a Thanks great player. You know, I love chat. football. I, I helped with the USFL. Uh, but he is playing into the P-trap, the P-trap, because she's a, Taylor Swift is against me. She's against me. She 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 wants to be she wants to make all this money, but she wants to be a Democrat at the same time. That's not how it works. When you're rich, you have to be a Republican because then I'm going to save you taxes. I'm going to save you taxes when you're rich. But if you're going to be this guy, Kelsey, who by the way is a good-looking guy, but the thing is he's being he's being brainwashed by Taylor Swift and all of her money and all of her fame and all of her fans. And just because uh, people are watching football 50% more now because of Taylor Swift, when Taylor Swift breaks his heart, it's going to be worse than his uh, his uh, Pfizer deal falling apart. Believe me. Believe me. Beautiful. We have one more. We have one more to wrap it up. We have one more to wrap it up. Uh, We're going to close. Information for $2 from MJT 532. MJT 532. See that? I remember that. Woman, TV, man, television, dog, cat, uh, camera, carpet, uh, lights. It's going to be incredible. You guys were absolutely fantastic. We're going to get our two pressers up here right now. Come on up. I want you to see who was asking these questions. We've got great people. Great people. Watch the cables. Watch the cables. We've got Bill right here, and we've got Darcy right here. Everybody, thumbs up. Thank you to my presses. We're going to have two new reporters next week. Please, we'll be back here again, 10 a.m. Pacific, 1 p.m. in the East. Get your questions ready. Thank you, Tickety Talk. Thank you, UT. And thank you, FB. You guys are tremendous. Beautiful. Don't go anywhere. We gotta get a photo. We gotta get a photo. We gotta get a photo. <laughs>